Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This is Nina Budgets. On today's video, we're going to be cashed up in $1,000. We're going to be putting money into our wallet, our singing funds, our savings challenges, and our $1 and $5 saving box. On this channel, we are focused on getting rid of our debt, paying um, all of that down to become debt free. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please stay tuned and subscribe. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started on a quick cash count. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1,000. Let's go ahead and get this money set up. It's actually Super Bowl Sunday as I am recording this. The game is actually on. I was like, okay, I'm probably the only person, um, which I'm probably not the only person in the world, but in my mind, I'm like, who is busy doing a cash stuffing video instead of watching the Super Bowl? Um, I actually am going to watch the Super Bowl, but I only wanted to see the halftime show. So once that is going to occur, then I'll go ahead and start watching it. Um, I also have some rollover money. I'm going to move this down because I have an extra space in here, so I'm gonna move that down a little bit. Um, we are gonna have some rollover money from groceries, gas, and spending. Um, didn't do any spending with the exception of groceries and stuff, of course, but nothing in my personal spending. I still have $20 in here, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm gonna take the five and the ones and put that in my one and $5 savings. Um, the ten dollars is going to get rolled over into my sinking um, and my truck. Let's go funds, and we're going to go ahead and take out the money that we have left over in groceries. I'm going to go back to using these until I make me some more. Um, so I'm going to just use those for now. So in groceries, we have one hundred and six dollars, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one hundred, five, six. This one and five is going to go into my one and five dollar savings. This is going to go back. I'm going to use that into my sinking funds. And then gas, we have $40 left. 20, 30, 40. I primarily work from home. Um, and then I work at Target on um, a couple days during the week. So um, I think because I am working from home at my full-time job, I don't necessarily have to... Um, put as much gas as I would in my car since I go ahead and get my wallet together. I already put my change in off off camera so we don't have to worry about doing that because I did that. I had a little bit of change. Um, but we're going to go ahead and stuff my wallet. So for grocery, we're doing $200 and I did hold on, I'm not using this. I did 150, 220s, 150, 70, 90, and a 10. So 150, 70, 90, 200. We are still doing $200 in here. Um, we have been, what, I, what we have been doing is eating out as well. Um, so when we don't cook, we eat out. I do use the money from here. Um, um, for gas, we're going to be doing 80. It's going to be a 50, a 20, and a 10. We have $80. Again, because I work primarily from home, uh, I do feel that I don't use as much gas. Like, I hope a whole tank of gas is lasting me the whole week. And for spending, I'm getting 20. We're doing a 10, a 5, and 5 ones. All of these ones are nice. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I cannot believe someone did this, but this is the one we're going with. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hopefully, hoping that I don't have to use any of this. And if I do, that's okay as well. Um, but if I don't, I will just be putting this in our $1 and $5 savings box. So that's going to be all for my wallet.
Oh, and then also I had some ones. I was doing laundry and I found some $1 bills in my pocket. It had to be from when I went to the grocery store. Um, and I must have forgot to put them back into the envelope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're just going to put those over to the side because it's going to go in there later. OMG, OMG, full disclosure. I had to start this video over because I was looking at the incorrect cash count that I had um, for which envelopes were getting what in the amount. Honey, I had to go through my envelopes and do it again, start over using this. And this was completely not the right one when I should have been using these. So I, everything is correct in my wallet. So I have to go through and do, take everything out of my sinking funds that I had in there and start over. So let's get this going. So savings is getting $25. Let's get this right this time, girl. That can be. I really ain't gonna make it to the halftime. Savings has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 5, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 150. I cannot believe I did that. And I say I can't believe I did that, but I can. Um, I'm gonna update my trackers off camera. Yeah, I definitely say I can't believe I did that, knowing good and well. Um, I can't believe I do. I would do something like that. That is definitely not out of character. But that's okay, everybody. Everybody slips up. Everybody slips up from time to time. Okay, emergency fund is getting 25. So we're doing a 20 and a 5. So emergency fund now has $500 in the bank. This is my $500 placeholder, represent the money that I, that we have in the bank. So we have 550, 70, 90, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 1520, 720. Almost back to where we were and where we need to be. Um, still going to continue to stuff even after I get the $1,000 in here, of course. Still going to keep doing that. You can never have enough for emergency fund. All right, car maintenance is going to be getting $191. I will be using the $1 bill from over there. So $51, $50, $50, $50. Fifty one fifty seventy ninety one. So car maintenance now has fifty one fifty seventy ninety two ten two thirty two fifty two seventy two ninety three ten three thirty three fifty three seventy eighty ninety five six seven eight nine four hundred dollars. This is great because um, my husband and my daughter both had accidents that require a $500 deductible. So I will be um, continuing to add as much as I can in here as possible while both of their vehicles are in the um, collision center getting worked on. CJ Savings is getting $10. I'm going to just use a 10 he now has 120, 30, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I mean, I was going to say I can't believe I did that, but I can. I can believe I did it. My necessities is getting 30. We're getting a 20 and a 10. So I now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. And my husband's necessities are getting 25. We're doing a 20 and a 5. He now has 20, 40, 5, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 
come up or whatever because he actually has money put up in his own account um, that he uses so this is just like some extra knickknack just in case bj's necessities is getting ten dollars And this is my 13 year old and he now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2. He is about to be finishing middle school and going on to the ninth grade. So we're super excited about that. So I'm sure we'll be using this to have for like graduation, get him a nice little outfit or something or whatever. Jasmine's necessities are getting $10. That is my 19 year old. Who's a college student and she now has $30. Um, she, this is for little knickknack things that she may want to get or anything that she may need for class outside of something that didn't get covered by her by her um, scholarships or financial aid. Um, so she now has $30. Sometimes they have like little courses that they have to add online. So CJ's hobbies are getting $25. He um, depleted this today and yesterday. So that is all he has. We're going to be bumping this up because he needs probably about $300, I'm thinking, for his training sessions. So he has $25. And this is my debt envelope. This is where the completed savings challenges were moved to. We completed a $500 savings challenge and a 30-day savings challenge. And it totaled out to be $800. We already had $1,000 in here before. So this should be $1,800. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, fifteen, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, sixteen, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, seventeen, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, five, ninety five, eighteen. So each time we complete our savings challenge, we will be adding the money to our debt envelope so that we can make those lump sum payments for our credit cards, getting them paid off. So health is gonna be getting $15, a 10 and a five. Health now has 10, 25, 35. The next envelope is gonna be our birthdays slash gifts envelope. And it's going to be getting $25, a 20 and a 5. Birthdays and gifts have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I think I am to take about, um, I think I need to take about $80 out of here to cover for birthday stuff from last month um, that I need to pay for. And home maintenance is going to be getting $50. We're going to do that in a 50. And now it has $100. Okay. And then a month ahead is getting $75. So 50, a 20, and a 5. And it has 50.75. Now I know my denominations are going to be off because um, the bank would only allow me to get like 50s. Um, it had no fives. So month ahead, let me count up how much month ahead. It now has 125. So I definitely will have to make change. And this envelope, I mean not envelope, but this um binder is definitely getting pretty thick because of this $1,800 in there so I will be definitely doing some condensing okay so moving right along we're going to go ahead and use the money that we had left over in our wallet to um, put some money on our low priority sinking funds and then we also had um, a few in our high priority that we're going to add in there as well so we're going to put $20 in content and then I'll start, I will be starting to add some more money to some of these envelopes um, right now and it's just not a priority. So we're going to put 
$20 in content. So content now has $40. I should have went ahead and did my high priority one um, when I actually had it. So that's all we're going to be doing. Continuing right along, my emergency fund is getting $30 from um, the rollover money, so a 20 and a 10. to this. I'm going to sit that there for a second. So emergency has 500 in the bank. 550, 70, 90, 610, 630, 650, 70, 90, 710, 20, 30, 45, 750. So we are now at 750. Okay, I'm going to mark off the next item that I am going to be using rollover money for. Um, my necessities is getting 50, 20, 40, 50. I have a wedding to go to, so I got to get my hair done, I got to get my nails done, I got to get a pedicure. I already have my dress. I do not have shoes just yet. So I've been looking at shoes at work to see if there's anything there that I may like. Um, since I get a discount, so we'll see. And I don't know, I may get press ons, I really don't know, or either a jail manicure, I don't know. 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 20, 30, 40. So I now have 140 in my necessities. And the next thing that is getting done is home maintenance. It's going to get 25. Okay. And I need change. So I'm going to borrow some money from one of these other envelopes that may have fives in here. Yep. I'm going to take that out. Put that back. Yep. Put that back in there. Took the 10 out, took the two fives. Gotta talk myself through it. Gotta talk myself through it, yeah. Because if not, I will jack that all up. So, home maintenance is getting 25. So we now have 125. Check that off. Month ahead is also getting 25. Oh yeah, that should have went back into the envelope right here with my um, rollover money instead of me putting it back in there. So home maintenance is getting 25. I'm sorry, month ahead. Look at me. So we have 50, 1, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 150. What did I do? Did I put the money back in? Yep. What did I do? Okay, let me see. We already had 50 in there. And during the stuffing, I put 50 in there. And then I just added 25. So home maintenance has 125. I just put it in the wrong logo. Month ahead already had 50. And then I put 75 in there. And then I just put another 25. So that's right. So it has 50, 100, 20, 30, 45, 50. So it now has 150. Yep. 
All right. That's all of my rollover money spent. The rest of this money is going to be for my savings challenges, which is my favorite part. I'm going to stick that there. In the 100 envelope challenge, we're going to be doing number 84 and 17. So we'll do 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have to do 17. So we will have this give us $3 back. 1, 2, 3. And this should equal one hundred and one dollars. Fifty, seventy, ninety, one hundred and one. Okay, we go ahead and color in the eighty-four. And the seventeen. And then we'll go ahead and put that in there. Moving along to the 30 day savings challenge. We are going to be doing $80 in here. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80. And I was going to go ahead and get all of the fives done. And I'm actually going to use purple. Switch the color up. You zoom in a little bit. Maybe you all can see. I'm going to do all the fives. My coloring job sucks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 60. And we're going to color in this 20. And that's our 80. Just had to double check. I know 11 and 5 is 55, add 5 more makes 60, but I wasn't thinking at the time. Okay, now we got our 80 done. 320 to go, because this 30 day savings challenge is worth $300. Let's go ahead and put the money in first. While that is drying, all right, and then this is going to be for um, this 30 day savings challenge is going to be for March. I've already did this one and this one once each, so I did it once for January and this one for February. So now I'm working on this for the month of March, and the 500 is going to be for April. Um, so we have four dollars left one two three four and we're going to go ahead and put these last four dollars in our one and five dollar savings bucket and that's going to be it for today so let's count up and see how much we are putting in here this week one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fifteen sixteen twenty one 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 dollars. We are putting 26 dollars in. Let me back up some. I'll just bring it up a little bit closer so you all can see. We were putting 26 dollars today. Come on, work with me, not against me. It's really starting to fill up. It's looking good. Okay, if you made it this far with me today, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate everyone that has subscribed. I appreciate everyone that has 
watch my channel, watch my videos. Um, and if you made it this far in the video, let's do a football emoji for the Super Bowl. Um, I've missed the halftime show, but again, I have a DVR. So I'm going to go back and rewind it and I'm going to go ahead and see this Usher performance. Again, send me your football emojis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everyone has a great rest of your weekend, a great Super Bowl evening, and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their week. Bye.